what's going on, fishaholics? So I got 15 days. 15 days till I become a father. I'm just I'm just messing with you. 15 days till I graduate. 17 days till I'm actually flying out of the country after I graduate with my family. I'm going on a little bit of a trip and I'm gonna have an opportunity to catch the foreign cousin of the striped bass and the larger cousin of the walleye, which can be pretty awesome. You, you might be able to guess where I'm going. But uh, anyway, it's a beautiful, little chilly Rhode Island, uh, you know, early spring night, you know, early night, not too late. And uh, it's just getting towards the end of the outgoing tide. I wish I got out, out here a little bit earlier. I should have been out here at maybe say like dusk. That would have been ideal right as, you know, midway down tide, you know, as the tide was halfway down. But now the tide's almost out, you know, I might catch it at the very end, but then I'll probably have a little bit of the incoming, which I'm not entirely sure if it's going to be too productive. But uh, hey, that's fishing. We're going to give it a shot. Try and catch some fish. Let's do it. Oh yeah, and one more thing. Um, I actually just made my first ever official website uh, called fishaholicfishing.com and I'll put a link down in the description if you want to check it out. And uh, basically I got some nice shirts up there with the Fishaholic Fish logo on it and as well as some of the striped bass pendants that I make out of uh, white bronze. And I'm going to have a lot of other plugs and fishing lures up there um, you know, in the future or very soon actually. But uh, for now that's all I got up there and if you want to check it out, really appreciate it. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, yeah, let's figure it out and try and catch some stripers. Let's try out the SP minnow here first. Got a little or very little bit of tide left, outgoing tide. That's what you really want here because what you want to do is you want to cast it out into that little bit of current, have that current take that bait, that plug you're throwing take it way out, feed it some line, and obviously that's how you're going to cover more water, put your bait in front of more fish, hopefully catch a fish or more fish. Uh, I, wish I, I wish I was here two hours ago though when this tide was moving a lot better. I'm starting off with this SP minnow because usually this is like a pretty good, you know, night lure to throw that will imitate a bunker imitate some sort of bait fish. It's a floating SP minnow, so it doesn't dive down too deep. And, uh, you know, ideally you don't want something that goes down too deep. You know, these stripers are going to be cruising or they're going to be sitting in this current, kind of like looking up, looking for something. Uh, well, this uh, tide's already coming in. I've, you know, I've been here for about 15 minutes and I got a wind that's going or was going against the tide, the outgoing tide. And uh, that's how fast it was, or that's all it took. The, the wind already blew the tide in, or switched the tide around. So I'm gonna make a move to hopefully a better spot. All right, spot number two. Got a little bit of current here. This might make all the difference, really. Even though it's a only a little bit of incoming uh, current, I just basically moved down to a little bit different spot, different angle, you know, along the bank. And uh, that's really all it'll take. Nice, slow, steady retrieve. Just had a fish right here to the left of me. Uh, pop water, it's like a definite fish. Not a, not a, not a giant, it's probably a small little schoolie. But uh, that was actually pretty good to see. I might throw on something a little bit different now. Old reliable little X-Wrap. The uh, 09 X-Wrap Subwalk. If there's small bass or medium bass, right here in this channel on top, this X-Wrap usually will get a bite. There he is, got him. Fish on. Oh, right at my feet. Right at my feet. Didn't I, did I just call that though? I was like, 
if there's little fish or medium fish feeding on top, the X wrap will get the job done. Woo. Obviously not a giant. This is, oh boy, easy buddy, easy. Kind of lucky he fell right into like this little puddle that's <laughs> right on this rock behind me whoa 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 oh nice little fish not a giant but hey middle of the night i'll take it awesome so that's all it took all it took was switching to the right bait and making the right move putting myself in the right position with the tide and basically where the fish were going. I saw like a little swirl, and then that striper crushed this XRAP09. I'll put the link down in the description so you guys know exactly what I'm throwing. This is like one of my favorite little baits here to throw, obviously without the, the seaweed on it or the, the kelp, but uh, phenomenal little bait. It catches small and you know medium fish and some large fish if there's some larger fish mixed in, but definitely a phenomenal bait. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Just had another fish pop water right in front of me. It's, it's weird. They're only like 20 yards out in front of me. Whoa. Just had a really good blow up. Wasn't going for this though. I really wouldn't be surprised if they're hitting shrimp right now, little tiny shrimp that are kind of just floating in with the tide. There he is. Okay. This guy railed it. This guy crushed it. And he's a little guy. Oh, easy, buddy. Easy, buddy. I'm getting fishy just so I don't have to drop you. Gave him a big old fish hug. All right. Second fish on the X wrap. Not a bad little striper. Smaller than my first one. Still pretty fun, though. These guys still hit like a ton of bricks. I'm using a little bit heavier gear than usually what I'd be using. But uh, I thought I was going to get into some larger fish, but hey, uh, you know, some fish is better than no fish. I switched up the camera angle a little bit too, because I don't know if the first fish camera angle is any good. So I hope, hope, I'm hoping this is a little bit better for you guys. Oh, this one crushed it. Oh, this one's fighting good too. Okay, okay. No, <laughs> oh gosh, I feel like a fool. I don't know why this fish fought so hard. I literally, I thought I hooked, you know, a larger bass, but the current's just getting a little bit stronger and he had his head down in that current. All right, last and final spot. I'm probably gonna fish for maybe another 10 minutes or so and then probably get out of here. Oh, geez. Whoa. This guy nailed it right at my feet on the X wrap. Oh, geez. This guy crushed it. He almost straightened the hook. Look at that right there. That hook is straightened, you know, but luckily I have two other hooks and then I got this treble right there. So it's not too bad. I got plenty of hook holds that'll sink into a fish. 
you know, but definitely replacing the hooks might be a smart option if I feel like I'm going to be getting into larger fish. All right, so that's just about it. I think it's only going to get better as uh, the water gets warmer, the weather gets warmer, and the season goes on. So I'm going to get out of here. And uh, before I do, though, I just wanted to show you guys, uh, you know, one of the reasons why I came out tonight, because I was trying to see if I could get on a good bite and then use this new uh, swimmer that... Uh, a subscriber sent to me uh Lonel roger or rogers and it's a really cool little swimmer i already took a look at it and here it is right here and i was really looking forward to breaking it out and uh you know just catch some fish on it i've i've had it for i think about uh maybe like almost a month now and you know finally the water is getting warmer there's fish around there's not that many fish around yet because, you know, we, we haven't had like a huge push of bait like we did last year um, in the spring. This, you know, there's a little bit of adult bunker around, some peanut bunker. Then there is like some shrimp and some smaller, you know, types, you know, like white bait and um, I'm assuming like spearing and other types of small bait fish around. And uh, that's what I'm assuming the fish that I caught today were feeding on because they were just popping and snapping like crazy at the surface. And that's kind of actually how I, you know, caught fish in the beginning because I was fishing, you know, down a little bit, down a little bit. And then I heard little, you know, pops like here and there, like, like that, you know, that sound that stripers make. And, um, you know, I was able to, I was able to hear that, locate, locate, locate where it was coming from and, you know, catch the fish on that little X trap, which was uh, really awesome. I mean, nothing huge, obviously just some rats, but, uh, Hey, it's better than nothing, better than sitting at home and, you know, finally got out and got into a little decent, you know, night bite and hopefully it only gets better. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching and never forget live to fish, fish to live. And I'll see you guys out on the water next time. Decided to make one more last little stop and the fish are going off crazy right now. Oh, geez. Look at that right there.